Welcome back, this is Mac Logo with another iRacing uh, race and this time we are again in the BMW M4 GT4, love this car. Um, this is a fixed race, so fixed setup, all the same cars um, and I'm also trying to again get my safety rating up, get my, get my eye rating up and um, when I started to race online that was last year, 2020, in, at the end of November. This was one of the first races that I did. And I want to see how I how I progressed so far. Uh, I was, I think, around 800 to 9, no, 900, maybe I reckon them. And um, yeah, I managed to bag in a pole position in this race. Um, it's uh, a field of, of maybe 1.1 uh, I rating highest. Um, but I think it will be some close action. I hope so. <laughs> and um, I'm with running this this car, and I try to react fast as soon as the safety car is gone, because the team has to wait until the, the leading car is going, until they can push. So the best thing to do here: go straight forward, full speed, your um, pole. If you wait, then you just cause crashes. And um, it, it's also a chance to pull away. Even so, you have to be very careful in this car with cold tires. Um, it's slippery as hell. The track also hasn't got a lot of grip, and you know, the car really has a loose end when the tires are cold. Um, I know I can actually, or from the qualifying, I could see that I can, I could outrun the, the second guy in qualifying by about one second. But um, I guess that's just because you you do qualifying on cold tires that are warming up so it's it's really hard to get a quick time and you have to be very careful so it's easy possible that some of the guys can match my speed and um, the guy that that is following me um, Stefan no sorry it's Christopher he seems to be a B driver so maybe more experienced and <clears throat> excuse me um, here I make my actually only mistake or my only incident in this race and that's an off track um, which is just a minor safety rating issue but um, looking good so far I can put a little bit of separation in and um, he actually doesn't come closer and as soon as my tires are, um, are getting hot or warm I will start to really push um, you can see that the tire gauge um, it, it, it actually shows the pressure but with the heat the pressure is building up so I guess above 150 will be uh, okay-ish around but optimal I think uh, racing conditions 160 um, I'm already pushing fa fairly fairly far because the, the car has grip now kind of so you have to be be careful but um, yeah you cannot you cannot uh, drive slow in this race. I have to keep a pace, have to keep uh, the pace high, try to to um, actually stay in front, not have anybody catch up. Even so, this track hasn't got a lot of tra sections where, where you can draft. This corner, by the way, is, is quite tricky when you when you um, accelerate out of that corner. The car gets a kind of a loose end because it, it's a little bit bumpy and you have to be careful on that track. There's a lot of spins especially in the lower uh, splits and this this um, section also you have to take it very um, uh, very close to the, the apex very close to the corner um, to actually get a, a kind of a quick time there's a lot of uh, trail braking also needed in the on this track trail braking means um, you just you know, um, or slowly release the, the brake and then just um, have it applied uh, just a bit to to get the car the car to rotate um, without losing traction. Um, there's a lot of sections actually where you need to to apply that. That's that's why I like this track. Uh, so, so here you see I just released the, the brake a little bit and that helps to get around the the corner there at the apex and that gives you normally a, a fast time. So this lap two. We managed to do a 138.90 on the second lap, and that's already okay. As I thought, that would actually already be, uh, I think, um, also pole. I'm not even sure. Yeah, in this in this race was this time, um, but I guess the other cars are getting faster. The guy behind is also can also lap 138, and there's another car that also can keep up, 
kind of. I can lap, I should be able to lap um, 38 mid to 38 lows if I if I have a, a perfect lap. And that's what I'm now thinking about. I'm just uh, trying to focus, um, keep the pace high, um, not doing any mistakes, um, hitting the brake points here, because if you break hard, get into this corner and get around the bend and the applied power and again here not overshooting the corner it's really slight trail braking keep the car rotating again trail braking and you now pushing so now we could we could uh, keep the guy behind 2.3 seconds behind so <laughs> um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can keep him at distance um, if I hit my laps then the, that should be no issue for this race, that's what I have thought. And we're just driving, driving nicely, but still, it, this is uh, basically, let's say, 98% or almost full speed that we can go, race pace, that I'm trying to, to, to drive. And we get a 138 low, that's fine, because now I know I can, I can um, outrun the other guys. If I can have lows or, or mid 138s, then that should be fine in this race. Because uh, <clears throat> these are no pro drivers. Very really good drivers can go uh, down to 136 low or even 135 for really race aliens. I've seen that. Um, and that's not something I want to achieve later on. Um, you know, just get my, my lap times on this track to maybe 137, 136, then I'd be happy. But that's something, that's a goal. I will, I will work on that. <laughs> in future and that's also the fun of the game you see how you progress you see how your lap times get uh, get lower how, how um, much secure uh, you are while driving you you um, can actually handle the pressure of somebody the is behind you or if you're in the lead and uh, the gaps can a little bit larger um, so that's, that also it gives you a little bit of security. Now these guys in front um, are cars that are already that I'm lapping, and um, they're kind of in a fight. They are not slow, to be honest. The the whole split was actually pretty, kind of even. No no really slow drivers. And I'm just taking them time to to reel them in. And um, actually, as a lead car. Um, they get the black, uh, blue flag and they should move aside. Um, iRacing does not um, um, enforce the blue flag. You don't get penalized or anything for it. If you do not um, go to the side or if you race a, a leading car or something. And um, that's kind of a thing that is hmm, kind of tricky because uh, they can be in your way often. Some of them don't, don't see that you're the lead car or don't know it. And yeah, it just happens. But... We just have to keep out for that, and I also have to, to uh, put in nice laps. I put in a 38 high, which is okay, but um, it's uh, the car behind can maybe go the same pace or maybe a little bit faster. As he has, he has been closing in maybe two just tenths, two minutes I guess. Two minutes to go. But that shouldn't be an issue. Um, as soon as I can catch up to these guys. Um, I will try to make a, a, an intelligent move, um, not to, to um, force something, as I said. This guy takes the inside, which is not very uh, good for me, because um, that's a race line where I want to go, but here I can take the inside. And um, where you go from him, he lets me pass by, uh, because I'm the leading car, I'm lapping in, and this guy here is seems just to push um, because he wants to put maybe some distance in between him and the other the car behind and um, funny thing it's a number five car and you know you get the rating um, of the car my car is a number six car so basically this guy should actually be faster but of course that doesn't apply on on lap times it's just the rating you've got so i'm basically kind of in the middle in this pack with my rating and um, now i'm i kind of 
um, I cannot drive my, my lines as I like, want to, uh, to drive them because I'm kind of in between these guys. They're back markers, but um, it's, it's something that, that I still have to learn. But I'll keep calm, that's a good thing. Um, but um, I try to uh, still keep my speed up and not go their race lines, not go to, uh, use their brake points, but still keep my, um, my tempo that I can go up. And as you see here, goes in from the outside, but I think it's not the, the quickest, the quickest uh, line to, to race. But he's not slow. Here the acceleration, and also the braking point. And I'm, I make slight mistakes here. That's why I'm not, I'm not very near to him. But well, we'll, we'll come in nearer. And. Um, see that with the car at the back he's kind of getting nearer when I when I'm not driving optimal when I'm not driving a nice line um, the danger is that some of this these back markers uh, are crashing and and I'm involved in a crash and the car number two could pass me which would be bad here I made a misshift um, should have this this would have brought me here in the slipstream also you know coming out of the bend and I take the inside here, get better out of this corner, here's some trail braking, and um, uh, again, not not uh, a very good line, and you can also see the track, the times are 139 low, it's okay, they won't catch me, but um, it's not optimal, I, sh I can go faster. So this guy's holding me up. And he makes a slight mistake. This is already enough. Now I'm, I'm going to attack his inside. Um, using the slipstream to come nearer. Um, I know where my breaking point is. Uh, exactly here I hit the point and I know he's too far out. I'll take the inside and I'm, I'm through. And uh, these guys behind me now. I just have to, to be careful not to, to slow down just to keep the pace up because they are trying to follow and um, they're racing also um, that means both of them try to <laughs> to uh, actually beat each other and, and they're going full speed so I would also be in their way if I'm not going if I would slow down or something uh, which would be bad which would cause maybe an issue an, an incident so I just need to hit these uh, hit the apex of the, of the curse perfectly and then we should be Gucci yeah, as you can see here, um, I can uh, make a gap with this with this, uh, this last corner, and I'm again in 138.7. It's not a perfect, uh, very good time, but it's okay to get away from them, and that's all we need here. And um, now I'm pretty comfortable. I know I've got two back markers behind myself, and there's uh, the followers are, are four to five seconds behind, and I would also have to pass them, which makes it hard for them. And with warm tires now, um, yeah, I can push it. So pretty sure. Um, with no, if no bad mistake, I should should now win this clearly. Did try to hit every every breaking point perfectly, um, not to to give away too much um, space. Trying to to still stay in the race line, and it's really fun. I um, I know a lot of people hate the the, the BMW M4 GT4 uh, um, as it's kind of a little weird. Um, it's a little bit loose and uh, it doesn't want to to steer in you have to trail brake a lot but this is something i don't like it's it's not the easiest maybe to drive at, or maybe you're easy but not not the easiest to be fast in and um i really love rough racing it it's it's just fun and um i also managed to to uh get the fastest lap in this in this race with a uh, um, 138.29, this was a 139.22. wasn't a good uh, a good lap, but um, it doesn't matter. Um, we're through. We've won the race, and that's what counts. 
Um, so this was my first race in iRacing, was pretty happy here. Um, that everything aligned, I could I managed to get the pole and I also managed to, you know, keep the pace up and and win the race from without uh, without uh, <coughs> with leading the, the full race, sorry. So um, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you also enjoyed the race a little bit. Um, have a great day. Stay safe. Bye bye.